Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Ted, hanging out with some of the crew here. Crew, crew, <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Ryan, and uh, today we're gonna do another uh, monster BFF. We're gonna do uh, Treant, and it's a uh, militarized simians. That's right. Yeah. So uh, we have our Treant on the trusty pay, uh, trusty monster manual, page two eighty nine. And then we're going to start finding some of our simians on 317 and also on 318. So, yeah, this is a, you know, a pretty cool concept you guys came up with to basically be able to have... Um, you know, the, the, some serious monkey business? Some serious monkey business. You know, but having, having the, the, like the, the monkeys and stuff in the actual tree, like throwing rocks and, and you know, issuing, uh, you know... Ver, you know, I don't want to say verbal taunts, but you know, cat calls. You know. Hey, baby, you look sexy. <laughs> <laughs> woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Yeah. Look at your pointy ears, Elf. <laughs> yeah. yeah, work that plate, man. Yeah, work right. it. There you go. Yeah. Uh, for forgive my verbiage, you know, but you know, ba basically, you know, hooting and you know, trying to egg them on. Taunting. Um, so, taunt. so I will show, taunt you a second time. First so of they're, all, they're snarky French people. This encounter has to take place in the jungle, mm. I think, or tropics anyway, mm -hmm. in order to have you know ha have our simian friends involved in it. So you know, so we're going with the a, a jungle version of a Trent, mm. which a Trent by itself is pretty nasty. Just the simple fact that you know you're facing the Trent and it can awaken one or two other trees and essentially make them Trents. Right. And, and in my opinion, there would be no way for the players to know the difference between the actual Trent and the uh, Awakened Trees because they take on all the characteristics of a Trent right. rather than they can't, you know, they can't awaken more trees. Mm. Yeah. So a, a smart Trent would actually, you know, awaken the trees first and use them. Right. Yeah, and then he's got his 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 monkey uh, artillery throwing rocks and stuff. So I'm imagining like basically you'll see like these just nets full of like rock, sharp pointy rocks that like are swaying as the Trent walks because they have like basically a weapons cache because mm. the the Trent like taught them what to do. Yeah. You know, in case of it, he encounter. trained them and yeah. he finally found people that'll work for bananas. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So so maybe this Trent's a tropical tree that actually is a banana tree. <laughs> Oh man, there you go. Yeah, that, that's kind of funny. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. I like it. I'm into it. So, so if the if the uh, if the apes are feeling really onerous and they want to add insult to injury, they can start throwing bananas. So, um, <laughs> well, they want to really be insulting. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I, th 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 there could you could have like an elite monkey, uh, Sergeant Bananas. Yeah. This was actually that was a Ninja Turtles toy back in the day, Sergeant Bananas. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do yeah, loosely yeah. remember yeah. he wore a bandana. It, it was, well, he was a gorilla. He was a gorilla in military fatigues. Yeah, true story. But anyway, back to uh, back to D and D. So, uh, back to some other fictional stuff. Yeah. We, so we got the train who's who's huge. And then we have, we could either go apes if you want to step up the, the sort of lethality of it, although maybe there's certain limitations to how many could they could house, because you could go baboons who are small, and, you know, they're, they're going to be weaker, but you could, th you know, you could reasonably have more of them living in this tree space. Well, so. yeah, and, and it depends, too, like, if you just want sheer numbers, or if you just want a couple of tough combatants, because the apes are kind of beefy, right? What are they, CR2? Um, what are they? They're only a CR half. Oh, you know? that's it? Yeah. So, I mean, they're not that much stronger than the baboons. Okay. So, and you know, you could, I mean, depending on how how intense you want to make this encounter, like, the train could already have some awakened trees with them that other other monkey folk are living in. You know, like, they could, like, kind of dwell together. Well, yeah, he can do it once a day, and it lasts a day, so he can just, he could... Already have one ready to he go. He could technically just move two trees around with them all the time. Yeah, yeah. If you want to, you know, if you want your 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 massive ape, you can actually have the giant ape, which is huge. But that's a challenge seven. Yeah, but yeah, I was yeah, going to be housed in the tree. Yeah, but would you want him sitting on you? No, not really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's as big as the tree. That's like, ba basically, you know, it's do you want Donkey Kong or do you want King Kong? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah. I, I think we're going to go with King... I, I think we're going to go with Donkey Kong. Yeah, or Diddy Kong. Diddy Did, Kong would be the baboon. Yeah, if you go if you go with the uh, the giant ape, you have to go it the other way around. The tree's actually right <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they're both huge, so... Freaking huge. Yeah. But, you know, it's a, it's a, it's an option of, uh, you know... That's, you know, stepping things up, you know... Because here's gotta... the thing, like... Trents are chaotic good, right? Mm -hmm. But... The, you know, if they've 
only witnessed, you know, humanity doing bad things. Loggers, and, basically, just loggers. And there are things, you know, they can either easily categorize basically all humanoids as the enemy yeah. mm -hmm. and you know what does the cat a good ranger do he goes out and exterminates his favorite enemy <laughs> uh, you know so you know why can't the trent do the same thing you know he's really a good dude it's just people suck well you know too especially when you're talking jungle like the the one of the standard practices for uh, agriculture is burning sections of yeah, the forest. Yeah, slash and burn. Slash and burn, right. So basically, like, they start doing this shit, and he's just like, oh, no, I've oh seen I've seen too many of my friends, like, you know, fall to ash, basically. So, like, they could go and, like, make counter-offensives on, like, villages and stuff in the surrounding area. So I think that would be pretty fantastic. Like, all of a sudden, like, the, you come into this little fishing village that's been completely wrecked. There's just, like, twigs everywhere, you know, maybe, like, monkey hair and stuff like that, and, like, you know, fallen bananas, and the party's, like, trying to put together what the F just happened. <laughs> <laughs> like they're they're going to the scene of like nobody's there, like yeah. You know, so we we gonna put that investigate check. Yeah, out. <laughs> this smashed and battered village fishing. Well, village. this is clearly a a giant tree and his monkey minions have walked all over this place. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Well, well, yeah, and here's the thing: like Trent's are very long lived, so he could have put this plan in motion a while ago, and then start collecting the apes because they're easy to train and they'll work for bananas mm. you know or whatever other food he can give them you know they're they have they have uh hands so they can use tools if they need to and you know training them to throw rocks is easy enough and it wouldn't take that long to i mean to execute that plan you could no. you could have a monkey army in like five years what is that to a trant that lives like you know centuries well that's what i mean and yeah. you know he could grow up he, he could grow you know if he started like breeding them you know, he teach them even younger, mm. and they would even be better trained and smarter right. yeah. to do what he needed. You so know? he could have his elite, like, black ops monkey minions. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> so, I mean, they could they could go in, like, almost act like a thieves guild for, like, covert missions. Like, I mean, they could do things, you know, if he's got a thing that he needs them to do, if he could communicate it. Like, you could do things where, like, minor crimes happen in this, this remote village, and people are trying to figure that out. So, again, another little... It's like, you need to get the PCs involved in the story, otherwise there, yeah, there is mean, no game. Yeah, I mean, it's easy enough. Like, a staff of the woodlands or something would give them speak with animals to actually be able to communicate with them. And, you're, and, and like, how many times are... There's places in the world right now where, you know... Uh, baboons and monkeys just kind of go through the town and hang out because mm. it's just you know the wildlife encroach or civilization actually encroaching on the wildlife mm. so it just starts to intermingle so there's places where he could just send them in and it would be normal you know like yeah. ah look at the monkey again yeah. Yeah, yeah. and the monkey's like yeah you just wait yeah, yeah. and he starts slitting throats <laughs> got banana for you yeah 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 it's good yeah so yeah it would work really easy where they could go in infiltrate and, and come back with limited intelligence i mean they're mm. still only animals they still right. they'll still only be able to communicate so much but you know may maybe it starts off with like you know you know take the axes mm. yeah destroy the axes take the axes so hide the axes yeah well maybe because you could go the other route where he actually where where he actually tries to drive people off first and mm. uses yeah, uses things things like that, like taking away the axes, taking away uh, things to make fire, and uh, it, it's more, it's a little more calculated and and slower, you know. But then if if he, if the the humans don't start catching on to to the to the warnings he's giving them, mm -hmm. then he just eradicates them. But he goes through this process, you know, because he feels like he's done his part. But he doesn't really understand, like, human diplomacy and all that stuff. So like, the idea of sitting down to a table, because it's made out of a damn tree. So he's not <laughs> it's made out of one of his <laughs> yeah, relatives. Yeah. So he's not going to be happy about that, going to the table. So <laughs> Wow. That's why you treat with dwarves, because their, their table is stone. Stone, that's right. It's an inferior material. Stones and, uh, dwarves and lions, uh, they have stone tables, clearly. <laughs> clearly, that's the way to do it. Yeah, so 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 there there is like you could do the diplomatic thing. You could actually have it as, you know, like a mystery to unravel and kind of solve, where your players then have the opportunity to try and go, and do it through non-combat means. Right, parlay. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and parlay with the Trent and you know convince them. And then maybe it's not really so much convincing the Trent too. It's then convincing and the people, the people yeah. that yeah, you you can only do things certain ways, or you know you're gonna make this guy angry and <laughs> he's gonna kill you too. And he's gonna well, and then and then you can get that sort of like you know the the mob against Frankenstein type of thing, like where like all these people are gonna try to array and like take out the Trent, although it's gonna go poorly for them. But yeah, you know, they're like oh, just monkey a 
death from above. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's just a dumb tree. Let's uh, yeah, let's deal with this. And then when you have you know eighty monkeys throwing rocks at you, yeah, yeah, it's a it from ugly. thirty forty feet in the air because yeah. they're in trees. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, so there are all ways it can go. I mean, it even talks about under Trent too the fact that like if. You know, if you hunt responsibly, they don't really mess with you. If you clear out the dead wood, uh, as opposed to the healthy stuff, they really don't bother you. Mm -hmm. They they just get really uppity when, you know, you you take out the really healthy stuff or, you know, trees that they recognize that are going to awaken eventually as trends. Mm -hmm. Then, and, and you know, maybe, you know, maybe he was actually a protector of a grove of those trees that, you know, were destined to become uh, trends. And it got wiped out by humans. And then you go all tree beard on them. Then you go, murderers! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> These trees were my friends. Yeah. I've known so. them since they were acorns. Yeah. Will, 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 will there be hobbits riding him? I mean, well, there'll be monkeys. Same, same difference. <laughs> yeah. so. They're the hairy feet. Both have hairy feet. So. Well, that is true. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you just insulted the monkeys or the hobbits, but I, I, do you think we've pr- pruned away at this uh, at this uh, tree? And- I think so. I think so. What do you guys think in the comments below? Uh, while you're at it, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, you can patronize us in a good way over on Patreon, or you can jo- join a conversation over on Reddit. So well, until, until next time, stay nerdy. nerdy.